So in Remnant 2, there is a relic called the Void Heart. And in this video, we're going through exactly how to get it for your character. And if you are interested in the Archon archetype, this is a requirement. You need to have this relic. There is also a lot of confusion around this, so I'll be clearing this up in the video as well. And if you're interested in the Archon archetype, I've done a full-on guide with all the different pieces of gear and stuff you need on the channel already. So in order to get your hands on the Void Heart, you need to be in the world called Nerud. When you are there, I don't know if you absolutely have to start in this area but my starting point was seeker's rest you'll know if you've got the right role because the first quest item you find very close to where you start in the road is going to be a seeker's key and what you need to do is make enough progress in the road pretty much get to the final boss you have to find like going through the dungeons and stuff you need to get your hands on three seeker's keys when you find your first one you'll know where to look for the others because they have exactly the same layout where you have like this structure on it looks like it's sitting on top of a hill it opens up and turns into a staircase which then opens up at the top and reveals the seeker's key but whilst you're doing all that you're making progress through Nerud you're going to find this big massive tower that's called ascension spire there's a checkpoint right outside it inside at the very back there's going to be an npc called the custodian he's basically going to continue progress in the quest and tell you exactly what to do like you've got to go find the seeker's keys then i need you to defeat this boss so i can go to Alepsis tora so basically make sure that you've spoken to the custodian every single time i always exhaust the dialogue carry on with the quests the dungeons and everything like that make your progress get your three seekers keys then behind the ascension spire tower with the custodian there'll be a gigantic tower it's got like a massive blue light in front of it head over to there and put the seekers keys in now make sure when you get up in the elevator because once that tower opens like the main door you go inside there's going to be an elevator that takes you up to the top it's going to lead you into the main boss fight of that Nerud campaign make sure if your role gave you an item called the override pin do not use that item. So when you go into the boss fight, it's going to be against a boss called Shahala. I think it's like the Eternal Guardian of Nerud or something like that. I believe there's going to be a console somewhere in that room. If you use the override pin, you'll unlock the alternate version of the boss. But upon using the override pin, you basically void the entire quest. You have to re-roll the world to start it all over again. So do not, under any circumstances, use the override pin. But all you need to do in the normal state for this boss is just kill it. Once you have taken down Shahala, go back to the Custodian, back in Ascension Spire, go exhaust all the dialogue again, and when you've got to the end of that, it's about waiting. And you've got to wait, I think it's about 24 hours real life time. But there is a way to trick it so you don't have to wait any longer than however fast you can change your settings on your computer. I think this will work for console. I know for definite it works for PC. And this is where a lot of the confusion has come into play. So basically, people are saying it's 12 hours real life time. And what you can do to trick this is stay in the game exactly where you are, like stand next to a checkpoint or whatever, but make sure you're still in the road. Don't close your game down or anything like that. Go to the settings on your PC, your console or whatever. Change the date and the time. When I did this, it was the 29th of July. And I tried changing it by about 13 hours or something like that. And nothing happened. So what I did was then forwarded the time again until it was about three o'clock in the afternoon on the 31st of july i was about i'd say a few hours off being two days ahead of time according to my pc so i'm pretty sure it's about 24 hours so if you change it about 26 hours see if that works if not just change it another like day or so or whatever just make sure it's not 12 hours because that didn't work for me. I forwarded it like pretty much two days and that was enough to get this to trigger. So basically, once you have forwarded the time, you are going to tap back into the game or load the game back up if you've had to go like to your Xbox dashboard for an example. And when you are there, you're going to travel to Ward 13. When you are back in Ward 13, go to the World Stone, interact with it straight away or whatever. Roam around, check your vendors. It doesn't matter what you do, but go back to the World Stone when you're ready. Go back to 
Luna Road, and in the bottom right corner, you're going to see a new location that's opened up called Alepsis Tora. Now, another piece of advice if you haven't completed every dungeon and everything that you've wanted to do in the road, go and do it now. Don't go to Alepsis Tora until you have completed everything that you want to do in the road, because as soon as you travel to Alepsis Tora, you cannot go back to any other point of the road unless you re roll the world again. But when you are ready, you've done absolutely everything you want to do in the road, travel to Alepsis Tora. When you are there, it's going to put you on this dodgy looking platform and it's going to look like if you step forward, you're going to fall to your death. But what you're going to do is look around for a purple glowing looks like an orb. And all you're going to do is go up to that and that is going to be the Void Heart. That is the relic that you need for the Archon archetype. And it's a relic that has caused players a lot of confusion from what I've seen within the community. But that is exactly how you get the Void Heart in Remnant 2. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.